this is a series on C4 embedded systems. If you are not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. In this video, we will see more about the increment and decrement operators. So increment operators. The increment operators in C are used to increase the value of variable by one. There are two increment operators. One is the push increment, other is pre-increment. So in post increment, the way to use the expression is you have a variable and then you do a plus plus. Say for example, you have a variable called x. To do an increment, you do up x plus plus. So in post increment, the current value of the variable is used in the expression and then the variable is incremented. So if you do a y equal to x plus plus, what it becomes is it does y equal to x and then your x becomes x plus 1. So that's how it is evaluated. So in pre increment, the way to write an operator is I have a plus plus and then the variable plus plus and then the x. So in pre increment, the variable is incremented first, then its updated value is used. In the expression. So similarly, if you do a y equal to plus plus x, here x becomes x plus 1 and then the y becomes x. That means the incremented value gets stored in the y. So both pre and post increments are the use cases. If the current value is needed before the increment, post increment is used. If the updated value after the increment is needed, the pre-increment is used. So this is about the inc increment operators. Next, we have a decrement operators. Decrement operators are used to decrease the value of variable by one. So similar to increment operator, we have uh, two decrement operators, the post-increment and pre-decrement. The way to define the post decrement operator is you have a variable and then you do a minus minus. The expression goes like x minus minus. So in post decrement, the current value of the variable is used in the expression, then the variable is decremented. So let's say if the expression goes y equal to x minus minus, here y becomes your x and then x becomes x minus minus sorry x minus one so that is how the value gets evaluated so in the pre-decrement we have a minus minus comes first and then the variable so minus minus and then the x in pre-decrement the variable is decremented first then its updated value is used in the expression. So you have y equal to minus minus x. Here the x becomes x minus one. So variable is decremented first. And then y becomes x. So I hope this is clear. So both post decrement and post decrement have the use cases. So similar to increment operators. If the current value is needed before the decrement, post decrement is used. If the updated value after the decrement is needed, pre decrement is used. So let's see this in the code. So, well, in this program, we demonstrate increment and decrement operators. So let me compile this and execute GCC increment decrement dot C. And if I execute a.exe, so here you can see the result. So we, it prints the post increment, pre increment, post decrement, and pre decrement results. So well, let's walk through the code a bit. So what we've done is on line number six, we have the number one of type integer. So we've declared it and initializes to five. So then we have a result one, which is stores post increment, post incremented uh, value. So in post increment, as we saw, to use the current value 
then increment so in this expression becomes result is assigned with num1 and then num1 becomes num1 plus 1 so the same is printed in 10 and 11 the value of num1 is 6 and the value of result is 5 so i hope this is clear similarly for the pre increment we have num2 is assigned with 5 and here the increment happens first then the value is used so result 2 becomes the num2 plus 1 before the result 2 gets assigned the num2 becomes num2 plus 1 so here the num2 becomes 6 and then the value gets assigned to the result 2 same you can find it in the output similar to this we have num3 which is assigned with the value 8 which we'll use for post decrementing so here the current value is used first and then it decrements so the result 3 stores the value 8 and then the num3 becomes num3 minus 1 that is 7 so result is 8 the value of num3 is 7 so result 3 is 8 num3 is 7 similar to the pre increment we have a pre decrement where it decrements first and then the value is updated so the value of num4 is 8 the result equal to minus minus num4 evaluates to the first num4 becomes 7 and that value will be stored in the result 4 so that is why we see both as 7 and 7 so well this is how the code is working So in this video we have learned how to use increment and decrement operators so we use more of increment and decrement operators when we work with loops so we will explore loops in the future but for now uh, operator plus plus and minus minus are the increment and decrement operators so the expression becomes plus plus x for pre-increment x plus plus for post increment minus minus x for pre-increment x minus minus is for post-increment so i hope this video is useful please subscribe to the channel thanks for watching subscribe to the channel for more projects courses tutorials and tools